Hey guys, on my recent trip to Orlando while staying at Cabana Bay, it just so happened to be the reopening day of Volcano Bay. Yeah, I didn't mean to rhyme, but anyway, let's get started. So of course I quickly changed my pool day plans at Cabana Bay and had to visit. I mean, come on, it was opening day and I love that place. Here are my top five tips on having a perfect relaxing solo day at Volcano Bay. Okay, we're gonna take the walk from Cabana Bay to Volcano Bay, let's go. My first tip is stay at Cabana Bay. If you stay at Cabana Bay, you're gonna save yourself so much time. Instead of parking at Universal and taking the bus to Volcano Bay, which can take from 15 to 20, 30 minutes, you're just gonna take a quick five minute or less walk straight there. I got my locker rented and I'm ready to go to the Lazy River. Let's go. Little did I know I was gonna be taking many trips back and forth to that locker all day long to get my GoPro, put it back, get some money to get something to eat or something to drink. So my second tip for you is call in advance and reserve yourself some premium seating. It's gonna be worth it because you have a locked box at your premium seating you not have to continue to go up to your locker and you can order all your food and drinks from your premium seating instead of having to go look all around the park for where you want to eat get something to drink and wait in line you're just gonna sit at your little premium seating and you're gonna put your flag up and order everything you need and have all your belongings there instead of going back and forth to a locker my third tip for a relaxing solo day is enjoy the things you don't have to have any wait time for and you don't have to go up any stairs for, for like the slides. Enjoy the winding river, the fearless river, and the beautiful volcano pool. This is the winding river. I did not have any battery left on my GoPro by the time I rode the fearless river, but it is so much fun. That is my favorite lazy river I've ever been in. It's so relaxing, just loved it. My fourth tip is do not forget to pack your own towels. I bring a couple of towels and I bring some that you can notice from a distance that are some bright color something so you can easily find your seat. The only place they will provide towels is at the cabanas if you're in a cabana. They don't even provide towels at the premium scene. They do rent towels, however. My fifth tip is do not forget to bring and apply your sunscreen. No one wants to be burnt and in pain at the end of the day because you forgot to bring your sunscreen and apply it. Yes, they do sell sunscreen there, but if you want to save money, make sure to remember to pack your own sunscreen and please remember to apply it regularly. I hope these five tips were helpful for your trip to Volcano Bay, whether it be a solo day or a day with family and friends. I am Orlando Girl 247 Jess. I'd love you to subscribe to my channel. Bye everyone.